18 years ago, all the nations of the world, essentially at that point there were 161, voted the Kyoto Protocol in which mandatory emission limits were agreed, and this included the United States, the, the OECD and the developing nations. So this is not the first time this happens. I agree with Monica on the desirability of the target, but the IPCC now says, and Monica may not know that, that it doesn't suffice now to reduce emissions. Now we have to actually remove the CO2 from the atmosphere, and there are technologies available and operating that can do that. They are not mentioned in this document. There is no commitment. There is no mandate. There is no mandatory emission limits as there were 18 years ago in the Kyoto Protocol, which means that the carbon market will not be able to operate because it doesn't operate without mandatory limits. And that's the only price of carbon that we have in the world. Furthermore, for carbon removals, we have just mentioned that I was helpful with my, uh, with my uh, delegation to put in there, but there are no provisions. There is no mandatory agreement on money. There is no mandatory agreement, more importantly, on emission limits. There is no mandatory agreement how to achieve the carbon removals that the IPCC says is now needed to avert catastrophic climate change. Okay. I agree on the desirability of 1.5 degrees, but this is an agreement that has no teeth. It has no mandatory commitments from anybody for anything. It's quite, it's quite uh, worrisome. Actually, it's almost tragic, given how serious the situation is, that we have no mandatory commitments in this agreement.